Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes it's useful to be able to show the different channels each on a separate layer. You can then edit them separately. This is how to do it for RGB and CMYK and LAB. So let's get going. I'm doing this only with curves. So we'll start off, we'll put on curves onto that and we'll Cut that out three times and get rid of the bottom one. So we've got the top one's going to be red, green and blue. So we've got a fair amount of work to do. What we're going to do is turn down the green, pull, just pull the right down and pull down the blue. And what's left is red. We've literally zeroed out the, the green and blue. We'll do the same with the green channel. So we turn down the red and the blue and the blue channel I'll turn down the red here we go and the green so now if we look at those we've got the there's the green and there's the blue so let's put them back and then we just select the top two change the blend mode of those to add and there's our original picture so I'll shift click the bottom one to select all of them then click the checkbox and if I turn that off nothing changes because it's exactly the same so it's quite easy there very quick and easy to do and we've done all of those so I'll turn those off and do CMYK now so I'll put curves on again and whilst I'm at it I'll change this mode here to CMYK so that when I duplicate it it'll all be in the right model. So Control J or CMYK the bottom one take off the adjustment so the top one's going to be cyan so what that means is of course I go to everything but cyan and turn it down. So that's a magenta, yellow, black Turn that down, there we go, that's one. And then magenta, we're going to turn down cyan, yellow, and black. Let's show that as we go. There we go, it's magenta. Let's do the next one. And this should be yellow, so we turn down cyan, magenta. You can see them all disappearing as we go. Black. And the last one. We're going to turn down the cyan. The magenta. And the yellow. This is another way of getting a monochrome image. So let's turn the top ones on. Select the top three. And the blend mode. Multiply. So shift click the bottom one, turn those off. There we go, no change with the top one. So last of all, let's do LAB. We'll add curves, change the model to LAB, select the layer and Control J to duplicate it three times, take the adjustment off the bottom one. So from the top this is LAB. Now this one's slightly different because what I do here is I come on to a lightness on this so the others, A opponent, it's a funny name isn't it, comes from how the eye works. They go to 50% and it's actually quite difficult to get exactly 50% so the result is likely to be slightly out. There we go. See that's got us a black and white layer for the L. Then for the A opponent we're going to do the same for to the L. And the B. This 
is called the opponent process model. And the last one, we do the L. And the A. And because we're pulling down to the middle point here, we're effectively causing 50% grey. So if I take the top one off, see there's the A and there's the B. And the A is red, green, B is blue, yellow. But this means the blend mode now, if there's a lot of grey, we get rid of grey by using overlay mode. Bing, there we go. If I shift click the bottom one, now if I take those off, you can see there's a slight difference with the original. That's to do with, because I haven't got quite it, yeah, that horizontal exactly the same point, because it's not just a matter of pulling it down. But anyway, there you go. Very rapidly, there's three different models and changing them, causing them to go into different layers for each of the channels with just using curves. Whew. Thank you very much for watching.